According to a source close to popular singer Taylor Swift, her close circle is pretty irritated by a recent New York Times op-ed that speculates that she might not be straight, that she's part of the queer community. I just wanna pause and say, I haven't read the op-ed, but I'm annoyed by it because number one, who cares? And number two, who cares? Like, why are we speculating about people's sexuality in a literal published New York Times op-ed? But anyway, um, here's what a person close to the situation who requested anonymity said to CNN. Because of her massive success, in this moment, there is a tailor shaped hole in people's ethics. This article wouldn't have been allowed to be written about Shawn Mendes or any male artist whose sexuality has been questioned by fans. No, I disagree. I, I, I don't think that's necessarily the case. I don't think this is a gender thing. I think this is a how do we get more people to click on our published op-eds and articles thing. I think that's what this is really about. And we did, I, I, I feel like there used to be ethics around these types of issues. Like you just don't speculate about someone's sexuality. Like you don't do that publicly, you do that behind closed doors with your loved ones and friends. <laughs> but you don't publish an op-ed about it. Um, there seems to be no boundary some journalists won't cross when writing about Taylor, regardless of how intrusive, untrue, and inappropriate it is, all under the protective veil of an opinion piece. So. Real quick, what was in the op-ed? Well, we're not gonna discuss all of its content at length because I just find these kinds of speculations gross and it's really none of our business. But they just suggest that Taylor Swift might not be straight. The author goes so far as to claim that through this sort of signaling, Swift has already come out at least to us queer people. And incredibly, in the same article, the author also acknowledges that such speculation could be considered too salacious and gossip fueled to be worthy of discussion. And um, the author apparently is right about one thing, and that was it. So I don't know, John, are we being too sensitive? Like, do you think that there's any public interest in speculating about the sexuality of public figures? Sure. Really? But, but I mean, that doesn't. Random people in the public, I'm sure, like to speculate about all sorts of nonsense. That doesn't mean that it rises to the level of like a thing that needs to be in an op-ed. No, 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 I'm you sorry. Know, let, let me let me rephrase the question. When I say any public interest, I don't mean that the public would be interested. Public interest meaning it would oh, benefit I see. You mean the public to quality know about value. It. Yeah. Sure. Uh no. Oh, for entertainment, sure, and entertainment is important, you know. Um, but no, it's not going to change anyone's life or anything. Uh, what what we find ourselves in is, I would assume, peak Swift. It's just everything has to be about her. Like mm -hmm. conservatives cannot talk about politics without talking about Taylor Swift. They are obsessed with her, and she is, you know, for better or worse, one of the biggest celebrities in the world right now, and so. Yeah, as you say, it's it's trying to figure out ways to get people interested. I don't think it matters any more on the substance than anyone else's sexuality. It's never going to affect any of our lives. Um, yeah, it's just it's we live in such a weird world, and it's like we were talking about when we were talking about Congress and like them focusing on Hunter Biden and often Hunter Biden's sex life rather than the obligation they have to their constituents to identify and solve problems. I feel like you could apply that apply that to the media, apply that to the op-ed section um, in a similar way. Totally, totally. I just, all right, I have nothing against Taylor Swift. I think Taylor Swift is a perfectly good musical artist. Obviously, she is a huge success. She's massive right now. I would like Apple News, Yahoo News, Google News, any news to stop sending me notifications about who this woman is dating. I do not care. I do not want it on a boat. I do not want it <laughs> surrounded with a moat. I don't want anything to do with, I don't care, I don't care. Why does everyone care so much about who Taylor Swift is sleeping with? Why, why do people care? What does it do for you? Who are what you sleeping with? That should be your concern. Who are you sleeping with? What if they're sleeping with her boyfriend. <gasps> don't care. Oh, That's her if, problem, not my problem. What if he? Don't be sleeping with my husband. What if he's wearing? Though. Anna, what if he's wearing a fancy coat? 
what if he's riding around on a goat? <laughs> Would you be interested in those cases? I don't care. Um, yeah, here's the thing. Wait, so do you not know? I'm just out of curiosity. Do you not know who she is dating? Some like athletic guy, right? It's Kelsey. Man, something? the media has really failed you considering. Okay, yeah, that you're that's in the realm of anyway, look, For I don't weeks. especially care either, but in it weeks. is fun. It's funny that Oh, weeks and weeks, like, oh, is she? Isn't she? Oh my God, she went to his no, game. No, she is. Everybody knows that she is. I'm just saying that news has not gotten through to you. I feel like Apple needs to send you notifications. No, no more. don't, don't. It's so annoying. And then, look, just to give you a sense of, it's not just Taylor Swift, okay? Mm -hmm.